Right, but right now we're not interrogating. We're just Um, trying to collect as much evidence as we can. Also, what about what about wiretaps? Do you have wiretaps on their comms? For their comms? Um, No, I do not. Those. Best ones you can get. I'll I'll pay you back when I get back. Yeah. I can just build those and send them to you. Okay. Okay. Anything else? I'm a very busy man. Uh, I think I think that's all Make I can a think of right now. Noise. What? No. Yeah, I'm very busy right now. Anything else? I think that's all we got. Okay, yeah. fine. <laughs> that was a roaring noise, by the way. <laughs> I heard you crate drag in there. <laughs> <laughs> I I oh, thought Josephine. I thought it was more Penelope? subtle <laughs> type of roar. It was. You mean Penelope? Yes. Penelope. Was so I've seen them a little supply drop. Also, things. are you just having them walk around with you? Yeah, I'm having. I'm, we're walking around with them. Okay. Not inside the building. Yeah, they're outside they're the building. Oh, the crate dragons. <laughs> no. <laughs> he said, "Oh, the crate dragons." <laughs> that is why I asked. No. Are I'm they not... with you? We have to have that ship first. Also, where are they gonna go? Right. As soon as they leave the ship, the whole city might go into a panic. They're on the ship. They're on the ship for now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Just can't go into space, because I, I guarantee if you try to go into space currently, that ship is gone. Yeah, that's fine. All the ships that you have are gone. And you only really have three. You yeah. have the yacht, and then Evan Hawk, and then plus the other ship that picked you up last yeah. time. Yeah. Alright, let's go talk to this guy. Alright, so I have three ships on my yacht? Yeah. Well, plus... Two, 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 two ships docked. Two, two ships docked. Two. I'm sure I have some, like, little itty-bitty... Spot. Yeah, I think, like, technically Dustal has a small fighter in there somewhere. Because he came aboard through a fighter. Yeah, right. And of course, I always have the supply stuff coming in and out. Yeah, that's, that's in and out traffic. That's not... Yeah. All right. So you guys run into Zaron. Or Zaron is how I've been saying it. Evening, uh, Captain. Evening. Uh, what can I do for you? We heard you were uh, having some trouble with some mercenaries. Oh, yeah. What's going on? Oh, they're just continuously attacking the farmers. Um, We've got that in hand, though. Um, I do have a job for you, though, of something else attacking the farmers that you could probably help me out with. Okay. Uh, the nearby Crystal Cave is full of Kenraths. Are those the bat people things? No, Kenraths are like the long leg, t- the short long leg things from Kashyyyk that you guys fought a while back. Uh-huh. Okay. There's some on Dantooine also. Okay. Uh, I can pull up a picture, just a reminder. They're kind of crab-like if I was to like make a... Animal reference? Yeah. Except if crabs didn't have the bigger shell or a face. And they looked more like a creepy thing from somewhere. I don't know. They're more terrifying. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. And they're about the size of a, you know, uh, of a big dog. And okay. Can, yeah, yeah. So well, you want us to, to stop these things? Yeah, they've been attacking the farmers. They're they're coming from the caves. That's all we. What did he say about the mercenaries? That they've been taking care. That that he's got. He's the militia's taking care of it. Define taking care of it. Well, what's it to you? You're, you're not from here. What's it to me is that I was gonna hire them to work on the restoration projects. You can't hire them. They they won't stay to help. That. You can try, but... You want to make a wager? (laughs) (laughs) You crazy bitch. Come on. What's a friendly wager? I'll wager you 2,000 credits. Alright, say goodbye to those credits. Alright, give me information. I need to speak to their leader. Oh, well, he's the hardest one to find. Okay, take me to to the mercenaries first, and then we'll deal with the rest with that past problem. I don't know when they'll pop up next. I'm sure you have some communications. 
to them. You're the captain of the guard. You've got to be have some way to call them. No, we just do what we can to find them whenever they attack one of the farmers. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, can you at least direct us to where we need to go? Well, we're not from here. Well, uh, actually, I game. You do know where the crystal caves are. I know where the crystal caves are. Hush, you. I want him to show us. He pulls it up on a map for you. It's not that far. Okay. Well, if we're going to this crystal cave, uh, do you have a guide in case, you know, a guide that might know the crystal caves decently well? Do you know the crystal caves? No, we tried... We tried blowing up the entrance to stop the Kenrath, but that didn't stop them. Mm. Blowing up is never the option. <laughs> How many, well, you're laughing at that too are you used to be the only option <laughs> you're still living because of that option what would you ask Danny? yeah i know this is meta but how many of these Jesus. things are there uh not a number that you can know out of okay yeah All right, so which stop do you, are you going to first? Because you technically have three... Well, the Salvager camp, uh, I forgot to tell you. Uh, you were told by the guy, though. The Salvager camp is near the uh, Enclave Ruins. Okay. Which is where Vruk potentially is. Okay. okay. So you got two things in that direction, and then the Kenraths, which are, I guess, on the way? Okay. This will take care of it since it's on the way. Okay. All right. And I guess it didn't matter in the t- in the in that case anyways. That's why he didn't tell you, I guess. So actually, you don't know. It doesn't matter. Then okay. so there's just the one because you just paid him off rather than solve the issue. I didn't pay him off. Yeah, you did. I haven't even paid him. So Sol- Solrum, the the farmer. Yeah, I paid the farmer. Mm-hmm. You did? Yeah, I gave him fifteen hundred credits. That was the first guy we talked to. The guy that, when you walked in... I thought it was a woman. No, the, okay, the first woman we talked to, mm-hmm. I paid a uh, thousand credits yeah. to for, for the trouble, and then I paid the, the farmer... When you first, hundred. when you walked into the building. Oh, yeah. okay, I missed the that. The guy whose stuff was stolen. I yeah. missed that. So that he can pay for his equipment and, and uh, get some hired hands to help them uh, out with yeah. the scavengers. So in that case, it, you don't know that information then, so never mind. So all you know is that Vruk's potentially in the Enclave. You know that Kenrath are at the Crystal Cave. Crystal Cave is on the way, potentially, depending which way you go. Well, I guess we'd go the most direct direct route, route to the Crystal Cave to the Enclave, I Okay. Guess. All right, then. So you make your way to the cave. Wee! Wee! Wee, wee, wee! wee. All right. Let me just look through my notes. <laughs> Josh said gross about the Kenraths. <laughs> well, they're not meant to be pretty. You just type in there, that's your new character? <laughs> yeah, bingo, The other bingo. one just got killed, that's bongo, you. Bongo, bongo, bongo died. That's the new you. <laughs> His ship crashed, because you weren't here. We're here to pilot, and he failed his role. <laughs> you know what? I actually do kind of want to roll to see where he ends up. Out of curiosity, because you guys do have a tracker on him, so I need to know. Anyways, uh, so I need his sheet. It's actually, I have a sheet. I have a copy on my laptop. My right. I have a, the more up-to-date copy on my laptop anyways. Because that one, the one in the folder doesn't have the extra 20 XP. And this one I did spend the, the 20 XP I gave him on updating stuff. So let's see, he has to make an astrogation check. All right. Ooh, that'll be fun. And he already knows the options of where he can end up based on where this goes. Be hilarious. I want him to end up in the hard place. <laughs> So you want that uh, despair? Mm-hmm. I do. 
I'm desperate for it. I'll destiny point for it if I have to. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. And then he has... A yellow for that. So... He did not get a despair, but he has two threats. Which means he does have the other difficult place. But he also succeeded. So I guess he succeeded at getting it to go, but not to Naboo. Right. Oh boy. He's somewhere else. What else is new? Oh no, he's somewhere else. A planet that most people don't even know exist. Oh. Hmm. Lovely. Shoot. Yep. So that'll be fun. Okay. <laughs> Should have been here. He probably would have still ended up there, but hey. <laughs> Alright. So where was I? You guys are going to the cave? Mm -hmm. The Krusty Krab Pizza is the pizza for All right, so you make your way to the cave. Let's go to the cave, Charlie. No oh boy. Let's go to Candy Mountain. Candy Mountain, Charlie. I'm trying to make sure I find the right part of this, because there's a lot of stuff. All right. Uh, so as you guys enter the cave, you see a mercenary who doesn't notice you guys. He's walking through. And he walks by a Kinrath, unharmed. Who does? A random mercenary that you see walking through the cave. He goes past, not noticing you guys, and he walks past a Kinrath, unharmed. Oh. Oh. Who are you? Um, I want to speak to the head of your mercenary group. I've got a job for you. Ah, we already got a good job. Not one that pays three million credits. You're right. I've got one that pays more. Oh, how much? Uh, that's not up to me to talk about. Well, then I would like to talk to your leader about it. Uh, I can't set that up. You could potentially make more money. Uh, I mean, I guess if I find... Make up What's to your a name again, sir? None of. Oh, that's cute. So you're not going to tell me your name? What's he look like? He's a Twi'lek. I'm going to look at him. You gonna, will gonna, take gonna... me to your leader. Earthling. <laughs> He's a Twi'lek. Okay, well now i got to delete a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Oops. And now you're not going to find a party member that you could have found. God damn it, you screw what up everything. What party member? Don't worry. He no, doesn't exist now. everything he said. He doesn't exist now. Fine, you want me to best uh, uh, No, it's fine. I'm kidding. No, it's just play through. Could have been Aeson's new love interest. <laughs> Is Aeson bisexual or gay? Oh, no. Never mind. Then no. <laughs> okay, so. He's like, um, I will... <clears throat> no. <clears throat> nice try, Jedi. Well, I guess if I find your boss myself and I describe him to you, to uh, describe you to him, he won't be very happy. He won't be very happy because he potentially lost out in billions. Oh, you guys, kill me! Potentially, just lost out on billions. What's wrong? Imagine the punishment that he'd give you. How close am I to him? Well, how close do you want to be? <laughs> really close. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. And I'll pull out my lucky blaster and blast him in the foot. Oh, what was that for? The, now you're going to take me to him. I'm going to blast one in your head. The Kenrath behind him start to hiss. Choke. The Kenrath. Fine. He's not going to be very happy. He Don't should be, him. since he's fixing to meet the leader of the exchange. Alright, so he leads you further into the cave. Uh, shit done. And you guys make your way there, and you see Varuk in a prison cell. Oh, I... There's Varuk. Oh, by the way, 
the kin rat that was choking, I snap its neck. Okay. As we walk. I figured you killed it. Yeah. Killing unnecessarily. Oh, well, we had the job to exterminate them anyways. So, I did part of my job. You're the greedy bitch. <laughs> you killed one. I said part. Part. That's barely part. part Progress. <laughs> made, made a... Point, point, you point took, yeah. five percent. You, you know the term taking a sliver? You took a sliver. <laughs> it's better than not taking any at all. <laughs> Alright, so you guys make your way there, and you see uh, Rook there in a little force cage. Oh, hey, Rook. He doesn't respond. Um, release him, please. No, the boss wants him there. Release him. Or the next thing that you're gonna... Actually, you won't even see it, because your head will be rolling. The other mercenaries in the room pull out their weapons. You always have to make things harder on us, don't you? <laughs> not me! You're not supposed to follow in my violent way. <laughs> you're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You can put Sith. down your weapons. Who are you calling the Sith? God. Oh, I know I'm a bad guy. Jesus. God, you're getting darker by the minute. Hush, you! <laughs> Be not built, Ace, and you don't think he's already negative? As you guys are arguing. So it's a force cage? Yes. It's a cage made of force. No, like, it can't be opened. Oh. Yeah. It can't be opened. Like, it's one of the electro cages. Hey. That's what they call it. How do you disable those? You gotta walk up to it and hit the button. Can someone, like, force push the button? Yeah, Maybe? but that might not please the mercenaries that you're trying to make a deal with. Just for leave him in there. He's not important. Fuck that guy. Let's we'll make the deal first. Add him to the deal. Add him yeah. to the deal. Yeah. All right. Mm. Anyways. Okay. Carry on. Carry on. So this lady is there, and she's like, I can speak on behalf of the leader. And, and you are... I'm just in charge. That's all you need to know. Blast what is your head. name? Is she lying? Do I feel like she's lying? She's not lying. Okay. Okay. I am in charge. That is all you need to know. Oh. Oh, Lord. Can you tell me the real leader's name? We work for a man named... Dominic. No. As cool. That's cool. I don't feel like she's lying to me. She is not. Okay. Um, you fought in the Jedi Civil War. So did you. So. Okay. Uh, you know. Make a. What was it we did for history? Cunning. Yeah. Yeah. Do a cunning check. Okay. What's your cunning? Well, I'm guessing uh, max. It's a five cunning. Yeah. Uh. Mm. That's all right. And those, do I have to take anything off for a cunning roll? Not, not for that. Not for history. history. Not, uh, not, uh, a social. Social. Uh, okay. I made eight hits in one triumph. Okay. Uh, can you roll one? Because you might know two. Yeah. What do you got? Five. Okay. Um, three advantages. What's your hits? And two hits and one nope. triumph. Nope. Not yes. even more like triumph? Nope. You do know. Um, you know the name is the uh, a name of one of Scion's uh, generals back during the uh, Jedi Civil War. Oh, fuck. Okay. Not a force-using one, though. It was, like, one of his high-up commanders, which would explain why the mercenaries were immune to force mind tricks. Probably went through a lot of torture for that. Um, well, just out of curiosity... What what is your current job, and how much are they paying? You? Well, currently we are preparing for an attack soon. 
Can you elaborate a little bit? Uh, all we know is that we will be uh, preparing for a large battle very soon, and we will be making millions. Millions? Just, Just millions. millions? Like, how much millions? This is very important to us. Enough that we probably won't need another job ever again. Well, what if I could tell you you could make... Double. Quintuple <laughs> that amount. And all we would need is for you to help build build the city back up and release that Jedi. In our custody. How about this instead? We're holding the Jedi because he made a deal with us already. Which was? See, that now you're getting ahead of yourself. We want a deal with you that will... Ensure the safety of the city. Okay. You, okay. you let us take you prisoner. And we can ensure that the city will not be attacked. In return. Mm -hmm. So, he made a deal to sacrifice himself so the city wouldn't be attacked. Is that what you're saying? We're asking you to make that deal. What deal did he make? That's between the boss oh. and him. But I thought you were in charge. I guess you're not. Come on. Time. You can... Girl to girl. Come on. Girl talk. Girl to girl. Is she hot? Yeah. No, in our role, uh, what is it? Perception? Or no, persuasion? Okay. Negotiation? That's what it is. What do you got on that one? That's max. <laughs> okay, and I, I gotta subtract 30. Triumph, eight mm -hmm. hits, one advantage. Okay. So what are you going to say? Well, that, that's just come on, girl talk. That was that was the okay. persu yeah. the persuasion thing. He made a similar deal. We are just trying to ensure, as we can see, that you are Jedi. So you think that us having lightsabers will make, have the city be destroyed? We believe you will get in the way of what we are currently doing. Which would be? We are doing what we were hired to do. And we do not go back on our contracts. No we matter the price. We were hired to make an attack somewhere. Yes. Is it in this city? Yes, but we can work things out. Okay. I have a strange question. Mm-hmm. Do you know the, uh, the city's captain? I know of him. How... Do you know if he tried to make a deal with you guys? To stop the ratings or anything? He has attempted to stop us in the past. Has he been hostile towards you or moderately friendly? I've never seen him personally. I just know that the militia comes after us when we attack. But not him personally? No. Well. Hmm. So are you willing to make the deal that we are offering? or? I'm thinking. I would like to know one piece. Who your contractor is. See, that's one that not even the boss knows. Hmm. It's anonymous. Anonymous? Well... Here's the thing, how would they be able to prove if you attacked this city that you're trying to attack? What if we made a replica, you do the damage at that replica, and then your contract is technically fulfilled, you didn't go back on it, and you'd be making way more than you'd expect by helping them, helping with the restoration project. Okay, Blazing Saddles. <laughs> 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 um, well... Considering there's only one city on the entire planet, I think it would be obvious. If we make a really good replica, holograms and everything, if you have to video re record it, we can make holograms of people walking along the streets, we can make the whole city. You do realize there is only one city. Right. We can right. make a replica. He's trying to tell you now. 
There's only one city. We can make another city. Yes, but it will be... Won't it be strange... If you were in the in that person's position to hear, oh, they attacked the city you, they were hired to attack, but then you still see a city there. How would they know? They will check. I honestly think it's the captain guard. Mm. Maybe if it is, it doesn't really matter. Out of game, I did want to ask. So it's the one person... There's only one person that's not in that thing. Yeah. Is, well, it, is it Adari that's the yeah. only person that... Yeah, okay. I like Adari, and she seems to be the one heading over to Restoration. Okay, got it. I want her, That's all I needed to know. Her... Yeah. <laughs> right, so... So you have to attack a city. You might have to take a few more points. You have what? to... You have to attack a city. Does there have to be civilians in that city, or does that city need to just be leveled? Well, well, remember, I want him to try and make it that the villagers actually do attack that place. If he can't coerce the villagers, then he needs to go and do the thing himself without being caught. He did it. Oh. <laughs> okay. He just did it because he wanted to. <laughs> Figured. Back to what you were saying. Um, because if you just have tell to me about the city, if you'll give us Who 48 hours to evacuate it, you can love oh, the you city, know he has to speak still to make the money, and get they can money. check, you I'll, make I'll, your money, and then you help us with this restoration HK? project, and I'll pay you clean double with your pay, paying you. Yes. Awesome. It's done. Um, wow, great way to pick up that role plan. <laughs> <laughs> Um, as for that, uh... Give us 48 hours to clear the city out. The people have to be there. So corpses have to be... Minus one. There. Yes. I don't care about the people. Mm. That's what HK did. Hmm? (laughs) Sorry, there's like two roleplays, so I'm having to... Oh, they're just having a secret combo, though. Yeah. It's not that secret since I know what it's about. Well, you know what it is. You know what it's about. He's just basically telling him it's done so he can get paid. Wait, you did that for money? (laughs) Take an extra ten. What? You knew that! Hayson paid for it. What do you think? I don't remember that. that. Hayson offered offered a billion dollars. Was that? Yeah. Oh, well, take another ten. What? That's bullshit! (laughs) That's bullshit! (laughs) That's complete and total bullshit. That's for money! That makes it way more evil. Alright. Uh, there was an ulterior motive. HK is, needed is, some... Is there some sort of compromise that we can meet to where these people don't have to die, you can still level that city, can we at least make it look like people died? I want to I I work with you, I just need you to work Damn with it, me a I'm little. At that's, all, that's all I'm trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> You're six points ahead. Of I just have uh, to do what, the, what needs to be done. I'm sorry that we can't work anything else. No lives have to be lost if you agree to our terms. But that doesn't make any sense either. You said the contract has to be fulfilled regardless, so you're going to still attack the city even if we did. I think the I think our uh, employer will be happier with this outcome instead. How about you say we were captured? We'll say we're here. I'll even pull up a chair and see what he says. If he still wants you to attack the city, then there's no point in us actually staying here as captains. Okay. That works. Pull up a chair. Yeah. All right. So is everybody agreeing to stay in the... He's technically not a Jedi. Yeah. Does he have to have to sit in a chair? No. Okay, you'll have to sit in a chair. So, uh, you ever heard of the yacht? What? You ever heard of the yacht? Mm mm. You never heard of the exchange? Oh, I've heard of the exchange. The yacht's the mothership of the exchange. Hmm. I don't think they care about the exchange. I don't want them to care about the exchange. If you excuse me, I have a call to make. Okay. 
So she starts to make her call. All right. She comes back. She says, all right, he's called it off. Okay. I guess we're going to have to go incognito. No, you can't go anywhere. Right our way that was the deal. Right? <sighs> um, I need some food. Can we eat? Yes. They provide you some food. Thank you. Uh, in the meantime, we will be setting up as our employer would like his, the new collection of Jedi. To find he would like the new collection of Jedi. Well, why do you think he called it off? He wants you out of the way, so... And now he won't attack. So he wants you to kill us. No. He no, wants... No, Simon's gonna do that his damn self. <laughs> <laughs> do you say that out loud? Yeah. Who's, just, just who's that? Just a guess. Who's that? Darth Sam. Oh, I've, I mean, I, I've heard of him from the, the boss, but no, that, I don't think that's who we were hired by, but whoever it is, they want you brought alive to them. Okay, well, let's walk, let's go. Including me? They don't care about you. Cool. Can I leave? Yes. Uh, well, I'm going to it's been real, guys. I'm now going to leave. <laughs> Three contracts, since your contract's technically no void and fulfilled with your other guy. Once you're, once you're shipped with him, yeah. That's fine. Since that contract will be complete, I have two contracts for you now. One, you help with that restoration project, and two, you get us the fuck out of there. I'll pay you five billion credits. Oh. <laughs> Can I take that gun? <laughs> no. You just left. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> Greedy bastard. So. There's a reason I'm rich. <laughs> the first one, we can do our best. Second one, that kind of breaks the contract. We'll be finishing. Mm -mm. You finish your contract because we're we're there. You wait a few, however. Few minutes hours, or few hours or however long it takes for you to get your funds from from your previous contract and then you break us out. You're mercenaries. You do this shit all the time. <laughs> Alright, so she walks off to make another call. Uh she does not come back for a bit. Uh it takes a bit before you even see anybody that's remotely in charge. Uh mostly you're surrounded by the uh the other type of mercenaries that are there. And then Varric's still in his cage, kind of just sitting there. Aeson went back to help B9. Okay. And caught him up on everything. Fucking idiots. <laughs> that's B9. <laughs> I mean, that's practically what I was thinking. So that's when this guy walks in. So in walks a guy with a milky white eye and a scar over it. He is... You recognize him. That is as cool. Oh. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> ah, God. How long time no see. How have you been? I feel like he's the one that <laughs> That is definitely this. not the one to say that to. <laughs> Thing is how he's missing an eye. Well, he's probably had that going on for a while. It was the war. <laughs> it was probably you that did it. No, we would have role played that out. <laughs> oh damn. Ugh. So you are one of my prisoners. Yeah. Better sweet, isn't like. it? Looks like. It's too bad I gotta deliver you. <laughs> to who? That's fine. You can deliver us. But I've I've sent out two contracts. That's that's being funded, post my capture, and you've gotten your funds. Mhm. Mm I looked at them. I and accept the first one. But not the second. Nah. Why not? 
I think this person's got more money. Mm, I don't think they'll give you one per head, and you've only accepted a few million for this contract. They're going to change be, it, though. Wouldn't you be happier knowing you've made five billion off of a captive to save that captive once you got your money? I don't care about saving. You're mercenaries, and I've paid you a very large sum of money. Probably the largest sum you've seen yet. Yeah, but while that may be what the others care about, this is idealistic for me. Could you could you elaborate? Let's just say the person I'm working for has a lot of ideals that I agree with. Are you working for Scion? No. Who's the person you're working for? Oh, that's where the surprise is. Well, come on, I'm so tired of fucking surprise after surprise after surprise. Just tell me, man. But then would you stay? Probably. We've already agreed. Yeah. You say Scion, yeah. Nihilus. Oh, fucking hell. You're working with... I figured you were working with the damn triumvirate. Not Scion, Nihilus. They're part of the same damn group. <laughs> they have, they are They're the same. same. <laughs> uh, it's beautiful that you guys think that. Okay, what is Nihilus's ideals? Convince me they're not the same. You'll just have to see for yourself. Uh, I look at the Jedi captive. Have they treated you well? Well, now that you've put us in this mess by continuing this agreement. Well, have they treated you well? Yes. Are you still in top form? Yes. Do you still have your saber? No. Can you fight? Yes. As cool looks and smiles and he pulls out his sword. So we're playing this game. Good. Might as well. Oh, you have been around B9 too long. <laughs> uh, I mean... Uh, B9's rubbing off on you. Do you, do you see any other way out? <sighs> yeah, because your money's not working. No, yeah. I'm not there. It doesn't not. matter. Your money is not working. Do what you... happened to the What happened to the phrase money money talks and bullshit walks? Right now <laughs> you're giving us bullshit doesn't for money. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you forgot that some people do have ideals. And this is Star Wars. I look at the Jedi. We came to rescue you, by the way. Well, you did a good job. <laughs> you ready to be rescued? Yeah, this guy. I <laughs> love him. Well, I mean... He's voiced by Ed Asner in the original games. Oh, yes. I love him even more. <laughs> so, if you can imagine that personality that Ed oh. Asner always has, oh. yeah. that's that's this. Hold on. I've got something Such for you. Such a great character. Oh, you've got something for me. Is it another surprise? I love surprises. Definitely love them more than you. <laughs> 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 he can be now. Unless uh, you have it doing something else. What? HK. No. I have HK. I don't have anything to do with HK. Okay. Just asking. That's uh, the that's Rook, by the way. Like I said, it's basically Ed Asner. Yeah. I have B9 and Aston working on uh, uh, dissecting Penelope and. Uh, and uh, did I hear you say dissecting? What? No. <laughs> yeah, I didn't hear shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Motherfucker, I'm gonna fly to space. <laughs> What, are you going to Princess Leia? Uh, Goddamn right I will. <laughs> and um, I have the other two working on the uh, 
The ship. The cage. I mean the the ship. <laughs> the cage. I mean the ship. <laughs> messing with part of us. I just imagine Connor going. I'm coming, my babies. Crashes the ship in an attempt to get there. Okay. Look at Connor. What the hell is she doing? So all of a sudden, everybody except Azcool is shocked. Uh, go ahead and flip uh, one of the dark. Flip a dark. Oh, snap. He's destiny pointing. I'm doing it because that's just the quickest and the most story efficient way to do it. I appreciate it. It's the most story efficient way to do what I was asked. Okay. Really, I should have taken a light point, but he didn't should. ask. I did not ask. Therefore... Right. That is my decision. I, I greatly appreciate it. Alright, so. That's when HK comes out of stealth. Greetings. I am here to kill. Hey, HK. I'm so happy to see you. I <laughs> had the Jedi a lightsaber. Do you open the cage first? Yes. <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Putting the lightsaber into that, it would just shock your hand. Yeah. No, you shouldn't even ask. You should have just like, you have now lost an arm. You're going to have to go back to B9 and get fucking fixed up. Again. I opened the cage. Okay. I told you I'm here to rescue you. Well, this is one hell of a rescue. God, I love you. <laughs> we tried diplomacy first, but it failed. But we did learn a piece of useful information. Oh? Nihilus. Who? Dark Nihilus is part of the Sith Triumphance, working oh. with Scion and Bitch Tits. Oh, move out of the way. He pushes you out of the way and he slices Azkul. Because so... <laughs> you're in the way. And Azkul was actually about to kill you. Oh. Thank you. Because you were talking. Yeah. That's such a good man. That is such a good man. <laughs> And I see you've still learned nothing after leaving the council. <laughs> Getting better and better every time. Why do you always have to criticize me? I criticize everyone. And what are you doing with us, Sith? I'm not Sith. How dare you? Oh, I wish I was still there. You are Kana. I am no fool. Kana's yes. actually kind of gray right now. I'm gray AF. And what about you? He looks at Mitra. What's wrong? Mitra has been of invaluable help to us. She was exiled for a reason. Yeah, well, she's not exiled for a reason. Everyone has come to terms with that. Really? Has everyone? Well, yeah, for the most part. God, no, they yeah. I've come to terms right with now. it. Um, Who? Who? I've come to terms, um, what's her name's come to terms with it, obviously. Who are you pointing to? No eyes. She... What I don't know name? who this is, he says. What's her, what's her name? Uh, the girl no eyes. Well, Kraya is what you Kraya. know her yeah. by. Yeah. Kraya. This is Kraya. Ah. Uh, well. I don't care what she thinks. Oh, that was a big hint. You no, should, okay. considering she is one of the oldest Jedi here... Pretty sure I'm the oldest. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're not. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Grumpy Pants. Also, she's no Jedi. I don't recognize her. Oh, snap. What do you mean she's no Jedi? She served on the council. When you were on the council. She was before my time on the council. If you say so. Okay, well... Isn't that right, Kraya? She doesn't speak up. Kraya? You usually have something to say. Not when there's nothing to be said. What? Anyway. <laughs> oh, snap. Anyways, let's go. Alright, so, uh... You've killed... So, so, Chicky Poo, do, do we still have that deal? You're gonna help fix No, they're dead. Okay. Oh, they're all dead? So they're all dead. They're all dead. dead. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, fuck. HP killed them all. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, didn't HK kill them all? That's Rook. That's what I'm saying. Rook's asking. Wait, what? 
asking what what you just said. No, I'm, I'm confused. Okay, so I Rook I was, in character is asking what you just said. Nothing. All right. Oh, so you didn't say that in character. He was talking to you out of game. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. S- sorry, I I wanted to make sure because just so you know. Yeah. He would not be happy to know this information. I know. So, are they all dead? Yeah, well, all except Adari. Okay, so that's the chick that we were talking to, right? The administrator. No, so, he's talking about the mercenary group. Yeah. Oh, mercenary group. Sorry. Yeah, that's what he was talking about. Although now we've revealed that. <laughs> uh, the mercenary group, yes. They're all dead. That's why you're allowed to just talk right now. Okay. Cool. HK killed everybody except Azkul, and then Rook killed Azkul. What a man. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's get out of this planet, shall we? Well, I guess I should prepare to meet with the rest of the ma- the council if what you say is true. The uh, council's gone. There are no survivors? We're searching for the surviving council people. I'm Gross. like one of the only one. No, there's one other person, but he's... There's two other people we met from and, the council. And then one dead that you found. And we found that one another dead. We're searching for the council members. Okay, well, they will know to meet here on Dantooine. One of them is kind of self-involved with a bunch of Sith holocrons. The other one already... Okay, in that case, there's three alive that you know. Oh. One of them is currently indisposed with political politics and can't actually get here. And another one is currently... He said he would meet on Dantooine. Did he? Yeah. And then what was the other one? Lana? Yeah. She... Because uh, there was Atris. Yes. Who doesn't really matter for what yeah. this meeting is. Um, Zez Kael, who was on Narshida, mm-hmm. he said he'd be on Dantu- he'd meet on Dantooine. Uh, uh, Kavar, he's busy with the Onderon stuff. Yep. And then uh, Lona Vosh, who was the one you found dead on Moraband. Yeah. So I let, I let him know. Okay. On the events. Oh, so Lona's is dead. Yes, unfortunately. We didn't make it there in time. Okay, well... It was Kavar's plan that we meet here after... When we had irrefutable proof of the Sith's involvements. And from what you guys are telling me, there is un- pr- enough proof worthy of this meeting. And from what you heard from the mercenaries as well. Yes. All right. So we will meet here when you have gathered those who are left. Well, we... Yeah. Will you come and assist us in gathering the rest? No, I shall wait here for anybody who shows up before you return. Alright, be safe. And to you as well. May the Force be with you. May the Force be with you. And we will discuss the exile when you return. Very well. Not sure if there's any two thing to discuss. Two, two of the other council members have approved of her already. Well, we will discuss those things when you return. Very well. As a whole. Very well. Okay. Let's go. Alright. Alright, so you guys not even going to bother with the Enclave anymore? Oh no, we're still going to the Enclave. Oh. And do I'm you want to... from here. Do you want to continue looking through the cave a little bit? Sure, why not? Yeah, finish her uh, job. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And do you guys want to switch up party members, have some people show up or stay? or? Yeah, what? let's um send uh, Mitra and No Eyes back. Kraya. Kraya. And we'll take... Um, because you got HK with you right now. Yeah, and we'll, uh, we'll take Tussle. Okay, and then other options are T3 and Beodur. Isn't that the people I'm using? Yeah. Uh, yeah, but that should be finished up soon. What about old Hanhar? Oh, yeah, Hanhar's, Hanhar. Yeah. Uh, actually, let's leave Dustle. We'll take Hanhar. Uh, Mitra and... will stay with you, by the way. Okay. Uh, Kraya will leave, though. Okay, so... Yeah, we'll just we'll just switch one for one. Okay. So Kraya for Hanhar? Yeah. Alright. So you guys eventually find your way through the cave and you find a bunch of crystals. Woo! Uh 
Good thing I bring my trusty pickaxe. <laughs> you might need a dragon to haul all that crystal back. So, you two are drawn to a, each to a particular crystal. Ooh. Okay. Senna, you are drawn to a purple crystal. Okay. Uh, so, with this crystal... Uh, basically, your lightsaber damage remains the same, but okay. you get an enhance to the distance that you can throw your lightsabers with the Force. Ooh. Kana, you find a black crystal is what's oh, drawing shit. to you. Oh, yes! That means your ass actually takes a negative. Uh, no, I've been pretty saintly here lately. <laughs> saintly my ass! The crystal enhances your visions to be slightly clearer from now on. Yeah. Alright. I can deal with that. Josh oh. does not get his crystal because he is not here. Josh? I had one set yeah. for oh. everybody that had a force rating. Gotcha. He would have had a silver crystal. I don't get a crystal. You don't have a force rating. But Asen doesn't have yes, a force I do. rating. Asen doesn't. He's an android. He's an android. I know that. He still has a force rating. No. Have you seen his dick? <laughs> <laughs> you force anything with him. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a force rating of 100%. Poor Josh. So I, I do feel bad that he did run off because he would have had a silver crystal and it would have given him an extra 10% on his percentile rolls with Wild Force. <laughs> what about Dustin? Didn't you take Dustin? No, we didn't. No. Oh. Uh, and it's fine. I didn't write one for him either. That's fine. And me, technically, they would have gotten one, but I wouldn't have written <clears> up the stats for them because. Mitra has one, too. She gets a silver one. Okay. Cool. All right. Oh, y'all sent what's-her-name back. She didn't get a crystal, you fuckers. She didn't care. <laughs> Who? Um, she didn't need Kraya. Yeah. <laughs> Kraya doesn't care. Um, She's already, like, five or six times more powerful than both of them. Right. Uh, as you guys are getting your crystals, suddenly you hear something. Something crawling and creeping. Well, I guess I draw my current lightsaber. Raw perception. That's you don't have to. Here. You look and you see the Kinrath Matriarch. Oh, cute. I, uh, <laughs> I put the crystal into my crystal array because it's a thing that goes. Wee, 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 wee. Yep. So, it's a quick loader. And, uh, yeah. So, does the crystal extend to all of my lightsabers, so I have enough for all of my lightsabers? Yes. Okay. It basically enhances your force ability. Oh, okay. <laughs> because, you know, crystals are technically a living. They're connected to you. Yeah. So. Throw further, you shall. Throw further. Which means he can go f back further mm -hmm. from the fight. I these, these were lightsaber crystal mines. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> You're on a planet that had a Jedi enclave. Yeah. And you were told about a crystal cave. I, two plus two equals four. I, I was not... <laughs> we I didn't was think like, about that. I was like, two plus crystal equals fish. But the moment you said we see yes. all these crystals, <laughs> that's that did pop into my mind. Yeah. Two plus... Oh, it popped into my mind. Got the gears rolling. Two plus crystals equals fish. The exchange is just gonna have a mighty crew up in this bitch. <laughs> Too bad no one from the exchange is here. <laughs> Which means you don't know the where it is. Exchange mothership is Actually, there. he does know because it's on his map. And, and Aeson's here, technically. No, Aeson left. Aeson left, He's but Aeson was there when it was just put on the map. He's helping be non cast dragon. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. upgrade dragons. Jeffrey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you now, my wrath will be terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to go first on the fight? Sure. So are you gonna take a, a movement to get away a bit? Yeah. I got a question. Is what I'm working on ready? It's finished. If we're talking about the same thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Jurassic Park. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's ready. So, uh, before this fight starts. Okay. <laughs> Are you gonna set it loose? Oh, yeah. Are you gonna set it loose? I gotta, you know, have a test run. 
Oh, he's setting Jurassic World. <laughs> so I'm gonna call calm Kana. Kana. Uh, will you call from Penelope? She's looking for you. I'll whistle for her. Okay. Well, that's Edward. <laughs> Crystals are shaking. Edward stops him. <laughs> Wrong dragon, try again. Edward leaves. You hear flying. It's almost like a thunder. Suddenly in pops. Penelope. She has been mechanically upgraded. With science. She has a uh, metal mechanical vest now. And you see wings and missile launchers attached. Also <laughs> a mask to float her from space to... to <laughs> Right, something to breathe in space with, right? <laughs> and oh, keep her warm. Just breathing in space. I built a ship just for them to travel on. Okay. It had to be real big, though. Is he it... had to build that outside of the dock, actually, in order to fit each, that. Each, well, each I figured I would have pulled down the yacht to the planet. And... Well, no, no, no. I'm talking like... It, they, they grow to be 45 meters long. Yeah. I mean, I knew it was going to be a big ship. I just figured I would lower the yacht closer to the planet. That way I could send materials quick or whatever. Yeah, you need a ship that's 135 meters long just to barely fit them together into one ship. And at least 250 meters wide. And that's like if you don't care about cramming them. Right. I'm sure I'd give them a little more room than that, huh? Yeah. That's a big ship. Mm -hmm. That's probably... Almost about the size of the yacht, if not more. Yeah. But, like, if you had no floors. Yeah. Like, just the first floor. Which is cool. We're going to like a big ass. <laughs> Your yacht's a tugboat now. Right? <laughs> That's not even tugboat, huh? It's its own ship. Yeah. You, can you could, like, get on it and steer it, and you and the dragons could go somewhere. Is there enough room? I'm sure I put, like, a little sleeping quarter for him. And... No, no, no. Oh, so for, like, one other person? Like, a person to be in there? Yeah. Okay, so then it's probably how about a, bigger a, than your ship. How about a, a crew so they can feed and clean up after them? <laughs> you just throw that stuff into space. Yeah, that shit just goes in space. Throw it into hyperspace. It'll disintegrate. Yeah. Okay. He can attest. Things disintegrate we in put hyperspace. put a poop shoot. Don't worry. It's got a poop shoot. All right, so, so now you have a rocket launching right, a dragon. Right, give your dragon upgrade. All right, go ahead and get the other two since you're going to be playing. Since you can't play favorites with them. They all they all smart enough to know. I got something unique in mind for each one. Do they all get to fly? I can make that possible. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Penelope <laughs> shoots her missiles at the Kinrath, <clears throat> sensing that it's trying to attack its mother. Ooh. Want me to roll for it? Yeah. It's my upgrade. You have dice over there? What do we got? I'll upgrade my dogs, too, while you're at it. Boop, boop. One pet at a time, please. I'm working on my dragons. They have some new ones. You're right. Five hits for advantage. All right, and you only need one advantage to crit, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so it critted. No, 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 I need two. Oh, okay, Missile what's the damage? Two, need two. 20. 20, and then you said it's five. Mm -hmm. So, and then 25, 26, because of the advantage. Because he's not, he doesn't have a crit, but he still has the advantage. So that's 26. Oh, let me see what it, the health was. I have that here somewhere in my notes. There it is. It is dead. Boom! B9 strikes again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wasn't even my missile tubes. <laughs> All right. I'm not mad. <laughs> He's glad. <laughs> you like that shit? All right. So I think 
that is a wrap for tonight. I guess you guys are going to deal with the rest of whatever comes next week. Hey everyone, thank you for checking out the video. If you enjoyed what you just saw, be sure to give us a like, comment, and subscribe. If you don't want to miss any of our content, be sure to hit the bell icon where you will be notified anytime we upload a video. Also, if you wish to watch RPG Workshop live, you can follow Studio Bastion on Twitch. There, you can also enjoy his gameplay live streams and other podcasts that are in production. Also, if you like what we're doing here at Escape Reality Films, be sure to check out our Patreon and support us, and get some cool rewards in return.